If you've tuned into my Twitch sesh recently, you've probably seen me use this guy right here or another similar device for my flower hits. I actually just made a video on this the other day talking about why I may never use Bix again. And I highlighted a lot of the positives that you get from using a device like that. And there really are a lot of positives. Like the, the best things are like the flavor is so much better. It's smoother overall. And then you really notice the difference between flower. If you have a lot of variety and you go through it, you really notice the difference more so than if you were to just light it on fire with a bowl. There's a lot of positives, but I really I really feel like I need to talk about the negatives. There's like a big lie that floats around. There's a common misconception that many people have. And honestly, this lie is, is all over the internet. If you start looking into it, a lot of people will spew this same lie. And I, I it's, it's weird because I only half agree with it, right? The biggest lie when it comes to flower vaping is that it's way more efficient and you're going to save money. Now, it's crazy because I I partially agree with this. It's way more efficient, right? If you take a gram of flour and you wrap it up in a raw paper, wrap it up in any old paper, and you light it on fire, and you inhale that as much as you can, and then you take that same gram or a similar gram and you put it through a flour vape, you're going to access way more of the cannabinoids and have less waste than a joint that's constantly burning. I think we all know that. It's more efficient, but I, I'm here to tell you the biggest lie is that you're going to save money. I thought it, I really, I said it before out loud. I'm like, yeah, it's more efficient. You're gonna save money on your flight. It's not true. It is flat out not true. Just because something's more efficient doesn't mean that you're gonna do it less. Just because they make the berries sweeter doesn't mean I'm gonna eat less of them. I've heard this same story from so many people that picked up a ball vape that I talk about. I can't link him here. If you want to know more, go type exclamation hammer in my Twitch chat or Discord. And if you have Amazon Prime, subscribe to my Twitch for free. I don't get paid on YouTube, so help me get paid on Twitch. You can do it for free with Amazon Prime. But so many people have told me that once they got their device dialed in, like their flower didn't stand a chance. Like I, I had this experience when I got my first device and I started to really get into it. I was just crushing flower. I was running out i was going through it more than i needed to i tapped back into like smoking all day even though I, I usually wait till later in the day i got right into doing it all day every day because i'm like oh my god it's so much better than lighting it on fire this is so good i've been missing out on these types of hits for so long like you make it so much better you make it more enjoyable more flavorful when you get it down you really get it dialed in and you're taking big old hits off of a ball vape that's all you want to do each hit is so much more enjoyable and it's less taxing on your body i have to mention this when you smoke a lot you do a lot of big old combusted bong rips your throat gets wrecked after a while you get more resin left in your airways from smoke than you would with vapor like a long day of smoking leaves you like groggy and <laughs> you do a hundred herb vape hits in a day you're like <sighs> i'm really high but i can breathe so that's the that's the biggest lie right that's you're gonna save money no you're not you're gonna like the flower so much more that you're gonna go get as much of it as you can. You're gonna try out every different flower option you have. You're like, how does this one hit? How does this one hit on the ball, babe? How does this one hit? Now, if you're trying to practice moderation and you're really trying to keep your tolerance under control, the hype phases out a little bit, right? You're like, okay, now that I've experienced the magic, I can get it under control. But oh my, so many people have told me that once they got it, they're like, bro, I, I love flour so much. I can't stop hitting flour. I don't even dab anymore. So just keep that in mind. If you're considering switching to one, you, you, you might not save money at first. And also there's a there's another terrible thing that happens to some people I, I have to talk about. And it happens with a lot of stoners. There's like a, a very bad condition that some people get. It's actually it's it's a syndrome. Like it's called vape acquisition syndrome. And this happens with a lot of devices. I have it with e-rigs. I have it with glass. It's, it's a terrible syndrome that once you find something quality, once you find something that really takes your sesh to the next level, you want to experiment with other similar things. Once you have a nice herb vape, you're like, well, is, is, there, a, is there a better one? Are they coming out with a new model? Like you have the thing that you need, but you're like, I know these things kill it and they're making a new one. This is a common situation for stoners. They run into that. You find something you like, you just, you keep getting a bunch of it. <laughs> it looks like I've done it with glass like a hundred times. But many enthusiasts will tell you that. <laughs> 
Okay, once you, once you get a good one, you think, you think you're done, but you might get more. So I thought I'd pull back the curtain on the biggest lie about herb vapes. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you haven't entered my giveaway, I'm giving away an Elgato streaming setup. You can win this face cam and the Wave 3 mic. Check out my link tree. It'll take you right over to the giveaway. And if you didn't see my video, I might never use a Bic again. Have a lit day, my dudes.